The ball is free after 10 yards for Hawaii not to feel that. This is a monumental mistake. Kyler Halverson, former Rainbow Warrior, now plays kicker for San Jose State. A 31-yard field goal attempt. He is 6 for 9 on the season, and he pushes it wide right. And so Hawaii gets out of that. 31 here for the Rainbow Warriors. Jager, he's going to go again with the feet, and he slides for a first down. How about the roll reversal here? Palmdale, California, the home of the great Marco Johnson, the former Rainbow Warrior running back. The punt by Matt Shipley is going to hit the turf let by by Matthew Coleman, who was deep for San Jose State, and it will roll out of bounds inside the 10, and so... There's going to be a running play, and Hawaii eats it up. Kyrie Robinson was the ball carrier, but Jalen Smith, along with Sauce Williams, held this coaching staff with some of his athletic ability, shows it off right there. This is Kyrie Robinson again. Uh, he is one of those running backs, right? Uh, he's showing some of that toughness here so far defensively. And this is going to be a run right up the gut. Paulie Conley, 5'10", junior transfer from Utah Tech. Contact balance. So here we go, 33. Cordero going to swing it out to Conley, and he's going to get first down yardage and then some as he spins his way forward towards midfield. And a first coming in had 12 takedowns last week against New Mexico, one of the very few bright spots for Hawaii in that 42 21 loss. And now it's Robinson unleashed. Robinson will get inside the 20, finally rolled up by Peter Manuma. Kyrie Robinson, number 32, averaging 6.1. Red zone visit here for the Spartans. The give is to Isaac Jernigan. A little end around play. We'll get them close to another first down. Trying to guard that goal line. Conley and Rogers are the two backs. The give is to Conley. And he's going to get to the five yard line, and that's enough for a first down. First and goal coming up. You mentioned order. The give is to Conley again, behind some blockers, and he busts through for the opening touchdown of this contest. Yeah, it looked like Hawaii was trying to shoot those inside gaps. Not a lot of pressure on the outside, gap integrity. Missed the 31-yard field goal earlier in the quarter. This one right down the middle, and it is 7-0 San Jose State. Thing culture is playing smart, playing hard. Ensuing kickoff will actually find its way out of bounds. You had Kowali Nishigaya who was deep to receive the kick. Start and apply some pressure to the opposing team as opposed to things usually going the other way. Shager firing an absolute seed right into the number. And a great catch there by Alex Perry. And how about the wrestling match afterwards where he was in when he is not in the pocket. with the more traditional cunning technique that time. But you got to change up coverages. Spartans punching it up a little bit. On third and eight, Cordero with time, and that is a strike to Nick Nash. And it looks like it's going to be set up and a dart. Spartans now three of four on third down here already in this game. Kyrie Robinson taking the carry up the gut. Under a minute to as we head towards the last play or two of this opening frame off the play action they're going to swing it back over to Conley he has room to run breaks the Manuma tackle it is punched out from behind by Tufunga recovered by Edwards and Hawaii takes it away wow what looked like bad play field and they said Isaiah Tung uh, Tufunga would be potentially that guy as Hawaii gets to work offensively it's solo by Pulu and look at the big fella go crossing midfield See triple zeros on the clock here That's to close it. quarter number one. So a swinging of the pendulum on the momentum front. Hawaii with the ball and marching thanks to the punch out.
kicked by Isaiah Tufunga. And he lets a pass go, and that time did it again. Quick trigger this time is complete to Pinocchio. And he gets down in midfield, still shy of the original line. So Matt Shipley again on the punt. And going back to the more traditional style of punting as opposed to the Australian style that we saw for several weeks. And as Matthew Coleman once again with the fair catch. 37 year elite type of athletes, especially 32 and number 11. Cordero's going to keep it and run the option play, and he's going to pitch it back. This is Kyrie Robinson getting first down yardage. He flew five yards total here for San Jose State. And Conley on the draw, and he is going to be eaten up by that Hawaii defensive front. You had Nalu Emerson, number 11, who was in the... Second and 10 here for the Spartans. This is Conley. And he's able to somehow spin out of trouble. He'll get about four or five yards on this. Offensive line of Wisconsin, you are a large human being. Very large. The throw by Cordero, and that one right in the bucket. A fresh set of downs here for San Jose State. Play action, Cordero looking downfield. And he's going to be, oh, he gets away from a tackle, but staying with it was Jonah Kahaha by Welch. Had the first wave that Cordero was able to slip, but he stayed on him. Forced fumbles, recovered fumbles from the Warrior defense. Second and 17, Hawaii trying to release the hounds, but the screen pass to Kyrie Robinson will get San Jose State back to the original line of scrimmage. Talk about playing this evening. Third down, Cordero releases it, it's caught, first down, and then some Sam Olsen, the tight end, gets inside the 30. Four strong safety has to cover the big tight end. And this is a delayed handoff, this is Conley, and Conley able to get the push for about eight. Performances. Another delayed handoff, Conley, but there are a whole bunch of black shirts waiting for him that time. Hoping Hawaii is responsible because Jalen Smith Cordero with time throws another completion to another tight end. This time it is Dominic Mazzotti and another conversion for a first down. Junior at Dale South. But they're sort of built the same way, similar running styles. That time Peter Manuma able to fly in and he was able to hang on. Here we are in the middle of the second quarter and you see Pauly Conley is the setback. Cordero to the end zone, caught, touchdown, and guess who, number three, his go-to, Nick Nash. Only been a receiver about a year and a half, still really learning to play that position. It's fast learner. Yeah, Nick Nash, you mentioned the three touchdown catches against USC. 105. Yeah, he so he already the... leads that category if you include the rushing TDs. Kowali Nishigaya back to receive this kick, and he will fair catch it at about the 14-yard line. In a small package, but not a guy to be messed with, that's for sure. Second down here for Hawaii after the incomplete. And Shager able to hang on to the ball despite the attempted strip from behind by Kenyon Reed. But Shager goes down again, and Hawaii gives up the sack. So they bring the next in third down conversion. 32% on the season. Shager will step up in the pocket. He's going to throw on the run. It is caught, but it'll be shy of the line to gain. Nishigai at that time with the short catch, but Kenyon Reed again. Yeah, they also have recovered three onside kicks. I mean, this special team is special. Good looking punt this time by Shipley. And it will bounce straight out of bounds. Cordero under center. Hawaii showing blitz. Here they come. And Conley is ripped into. Noah Kemma came off the edge. And he had bad intent. Third and 12. Cordero with time. He's going to throw. It is caught. And it is Nick Nash. What? There you see four catches, 46 yards, and a touchdown for Nick Nash. And now Conley up the middle. First down and then some Peter Manuma credited with the tackle. The season. And this offensive line really coming together here for this home stretch of the football calendar. So they're going to run the screen to Conley, but nothing doing. Jalen Smith denies access. 
Eight for their last eight. Third and 12, though. Cordero going to throw it deep down the sideline. It is caught inside the 10. Charles Ross. So they'll have ample opportunity to get into the end zone. The give is to Robinson following his blocker, and he goes in untouched. And Kyrie Robinson with his 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And now Halverson on for the point after. And it is good. The magic number's been three. On the sidelines for Hawaii. And she got over the fair catch wave. And he, it has just been an onslaught for the Spartans, particularly on third down. Lack of offense, lack of running game. And was that one hauled in by McBride? And they're going to say that he did make the catch. So a pretty dynamic catch. He the ball vertically. He might be looking for some Shager bombs coming up here. Stepping up in the pocket. He's going to check down. It's Nishigaya trying to get to that sideline. And they're going to keep the clock running. But what he would know some rules. <laughs> well, it was, as we said, an inauspicious start to this half and game for the Rainbow Warriors. An inauspicious close to the first half. The Spartans of San Jose State in a homecoming for the Rainbow Warriors, which is also a homecoming for Chevin Cordero. San Jose State has make it has made it feel like home here so far in Manoa. 21-0. The guys. And again, Hawaii kicking it away. San Jose State won the coin toss, elected to defer. That's been something that Hawaii has been confronted with a lot here this season, particularly in recent weeks because of their struggles on opening drives. And so the Spartans able. So Chevin Cordero takes the snap. It is a handoff, and Kyrie Robinson goes nowhere. As you had a host of Rainbow Warriors, Tariq Jones included. Rich, yeah, the throw further behind. Nash than what it initially appeared from up here. Stephen McBride now back to receive this punt. He's going to let it hit the turf and look at the Spartans' roll that it takes off of the foot of Alex Weir, the punter for the Spartans. And I'm done. They got to play horizontally. They got to cover it. Shager in trouble and he goes down. He didn't have time to breathe back there. Sawane so Toia was one of the guys. Shipley, the dangerous scenario of having to punt out of his own end zone, gets it all. It is Matthew Coleman standing at the Hawaii logo who will fair catch it. A couple of commonalities, right? Local boys stayed home initially. Here's Robinson. Off and running. Robinson burst through. Are they going to catch him? Robinson running away from the defense. And he is in for his second touchdown of the game. 52 yards to the house. Trying to get to that 250 mark for the first time in program history. That's not only a big hole, there's some missed assignments and missed tackles there. Scheme overloading the run game. Good run by Mr. Robinson. Oliver Halverson for the point after. And the Spartans unrelenting. Kyrie Robinson, media relations director at San Jose State for so many years, passed away last year. And this is the first time that San Jose State has traveled to Hawaii since his passing as Koala Nishigaya will make the fair catch on the ensuing kickoff. Uh, he just is a man who is uh, sorely missed because not only was he wonderful at his job, but he was just an incredible human being. As Raiden Shager goes down. This is Noah Lavulo. Because the offense has been anemic. Shager going to run the screen. This is Brandon Sims trying to run after the catch and a decent game there it's going to bring up third and about six but getting back to Lawrence Van Bree, one of the adjacent booths here up on the press level and uh, just another indication as to how beloved Lawrence Van is here's Shager on the run he's going to get the first down Braden Shager ironically that's been one of the more effective aspects of this Hawaii on homecoming Shager going to throw it deep and nobody is there. It is intercepted by Javion Cole, and he's going to forge a return. Major miscommunication by the Rainbow Warriors. And it results in Braden Shager's 12th interception of the season. Converted, plus you had the personal foul at the end of that play. They give it right back. And now Cordero looking downfield. And that is caught. Caught by Ross. And he gets inside the 30. And the Spartans keeping the pressure on. So 
fourth down here because of the penalty Spartans decide to go ahead and go for it on fourth and ten Cordero in trouble trying to find some open space now he throws as he is hit and it is caught caught by Nash what a play played at USC which was number six at the time they hosted top 20 Oregon State in game two and as Conley rounding out to the edge and he gets pushed out of bounds. They played at to Rodgers and Robinson in the backfield. The give is to Robinson. Trying to get to the edge. And Jalen Smith wow. says, uh-huh. And it's a turnover on down. Jalen Smith with the bigs this evening. They were standing in his end zone, able to fire a strike to Kowali Nishigaya. And that's going to be enough for a Hawaii first down. Good throw there by Shea. Jager stepping up in the pocket. He's going to run with it again, and he's going to slide. They're going to give him a gain of six there, maybe seven, actually. Two minutes to play in the third. Shager again hit as he lets it fly, but that one gets home. And a good sliding catch there by Stephen McBride. This is a draw play here. Sims able to get first down yardage and more. 270 pound running back. I was wondering where you were going with that, but that makes sense. Here is Cordero throwing it to the near sideline. Actually, Shager, but sometimes. Uh, excuse me, Shager. Yeah. Freudian slip, and uh, <laughs> I gotta correct you. That's rare because you're usually correcting me, but this could be intentional grounding. Well, he didn't appear to get outside of the tackle, and I don't think the pass yeah. got to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, yeah. And our resident official, Kyle Gaudera, is thinking this is. Potentially grounded. We're still awaiting an official spot here. And I think he's listening up into the booth whether there is a receiver in the vicinity. Intentional grounding gets the offense. Spot foul, loss of down, third down. At the most inopportune time, so Shager on now third and 17. Looking downfield, nothing going on, and he goes down again. A delayed sack. Sawane Toia again wreaking havoc. Yeah, in question. Tony plays rugby in New Zealand. Amy makes the play for San Jose State. Quarter number four coming up. Time is. Uh, this time he will go ahead and punt it. It'll end over end action and it will take a Hawaii bounce before veering out of bounds close to the 30. The primary domino in what would be uh, the start of what was a very tumultuous stretch for this Hawaii football program, which resulted ultimately with the departure. That's a running play and this is going to be Conley up the middle. Now that said, uh, Brent Brennan, after the fact, when it was learned that Timmy Chang was taking over. Proactive with Aloha. Cordero looking to run with it, but he's caught from behind. Elijah Robinson chasing it down. And we haven't seen a defensive end with that type of burst, with that type of technique in terms of chasing quarterbacks down. Bride is deep for Hawaii. That one boomed into the Manoa night. It bounces at the one. And will find its way into the end zone. 50-yard punt. It's kind of going back and forth there. Had to go down and see him before the game. Get some love and aloha. Shager throwing on the run. And that's a good throw. It is caught by Nick Senecal. Making his first catch of the game. And he's wrestled out of bounds after he crosses the pool. Back in the day. Stomach can be big because the symmetry with those calves <laughs> would match right. up. That's right. Uh, great guy to talk to, though, Travis Sims. And uh, so proud of seeing his son donning the Hawaii uniform. It's a great story. This is struggling. Matthew Coleman is back deep to receive this Matt Shipley hunt. Shipley been busy tonight. And it's going to bounce the other way and finally be downed by Solo Vaipulu. And this one is up the middle. This is Robinson again turning on the boosters. And finally, chase down. And you figure they're going to be trying to work the clock here down the stretch. 
Conley looking for a seam, finds one, and he gets forward for a first down. Day in Reno, 34-24, a New Mexico team that gave Hawaii dirty dirties last week as Conley gets gang tackled there. First one to him was Peter Manuma. Manuma with a great play, but going back to the bombs too much, but I got mad respect for Braden Shager, and we'll see what Big Carroll can do. Cordero. Buying time, being chased by Choi, throws to the end zone, has a wide open Nick Nash. Touchdown, San Jose State. Ramble to his favorite target, Nick Nash. Second touchdown pass of the game for Shevin. And it is now 35-0 San Jose State. To my story with Rob DeMello, he wins a lot of those arguments because he and I were arguing Portello versus Herbie at linebacker. And so far, Herbie is a big-time football And he is going to run with it. And he is going to get forward for a solid game there off the run. It's a, it's a tough crowd. <laughs> Throw by Farrell, that one incomplete. <laughs> Andrew Jenkins was covering on the play. I wore my Lahaina strong shirt last night. And that pass is complete to Alex Perry. Also exchanging pleasantries. This was a lopsided affair. And San Jose State pulls off of the shutout, 35-0. The Dick Tomey trophy going, staying at San Jose State. There it is, the Dick Tomey legacy trophy. Kevin Cordero, Kyrie Robinson, Nick Nash, these guys have some weapons. Well, Chevin Cordero certainly deserving an honorable mention for player of the game. 16 for 26, 251 yards and two TDs. And the Spartans hoisting the trophy. It stays with San Jose State. Do you know your way to San Jose? Well, Isn't very good in terms of, you know what I can Well, they are uh, getting on a plane tonight. They're not going to be spending too much time in the islands. They're heading back home. And boy, is that trip back to the West Coast going to feel oh so good after a 35 nothing drubbing of the Rainbow Warriors on homecoming. Rich, last thought. Seems to be putting it together. It was all San Jose State tonight. Homecoming was disrupted by another homecoming. And several former Rainbow Warriors, now members of the San Jose State Spartans, spoil things. And they're able to celebrate their return back to the islands with a one-sided victory. Over